What's up everybody? This is Shock right here and welcome back today to Since I had great feedbacks from the last project I uploaded here on my channel, I choose to create a new one and share it with you all. So I designed in tiers of a Dutch barge on a budget of 15,000 pounds. It was my first time stepping into a project using Google SketchUp as a software. Although I choose not to use any render program because I wanted to keep my visual very creative and artistic, reason why I use Photoshop as you will see in the video. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Here it is for you. Dalila is a Dutch barge currently located in Edinburgh, Scotland, within a historical dock called Shore. The narrow boat was built in 1960 and brought from the Netherlands to Scotland in 2001. Our clients are two brothers working in the creative industry respectively as a content creator and a designer. Their main demand was to have a large shared studio from which they could work from home. They also did not want for the studio, kitchen and sleeping areas to get mixed up or have the feeling to be working within their kitchen. Loss of natural light was a key request too, as well as having a clever hidden storage system. Our main inspiration for the redesign process have been the Aqua Lounge in Seattle, US, and the Elara Barge in West London, UK. The first one had a black exterior finish that announced the contrast with the white interiors, which also functioned as an eye illusion to increase the height. The second had a beautiful walk-on skylight to get all the natural light possible inside, sophisticated storage solution and a high catching large portholes that gave the feeling to almost be floating on water inside the apartment as well. In the previous layout, the bot plan was developed only on the ground floor, with the master bedroom and the bathroom blocking the view and this will also decrease the light coming inside. The engine will take lots of space since the boat will be moored permanently we decided to take the engine out giving extra space for storage. Our newest layout runs through two levels. We avoided to build any wall within the ground floor to give the sense of living in a spacious and bright open plan interior which includes a fully equipped kitchen, a food burning stove, dining area, hidden laundry a huge size studio and a living room. We decided it was really important to have a strong divide between what's sleeping and what's living, so we added a first floor accessible through a ladder and a hatch. This floor will only be dedicated to the sleeping area. Two double bed cabins separated by a central skylight in between that will bring all the natural light inside down until the ground floor as well. Studios take prime position in the floating apartment and the focus is on the light, which mainly comes from the 1.5 meters portals and the central skylight. We also design a custom desk that could be able to fold when not in use. We called it ULA desk because of its basic structure that almost looks like those three letters. 
The main little shelf will always be open, taking only 45 cm of space, while the main tabletop could be closed thanks to foldable legs and thanks also to the railing structure at the back that function as its storage place. We chose a simple material palette, dark exteriors, diamond metal plate for the exterior flooring and terraces. Moving inside with a predominant white wood mud cladding and a maple wooden floor. The custom furniture will be made out of simple OSB, while a yellow chenille fabric will be the main protagonist for the seatings. Cost-wise, since we didn't have a budget, we chose to select a range of material and appliances built to last. The final rough cost went up to £15,275. We'll have tiny living size kitchen appliances, a custom designed dining table that could be pulled out of the wall, and a customized 4 meters modular sofa for the living space. kitchen will have a full eye sliding screen so that while being in the studio the client will not feel like working next to his kitchen also will determine the function of the space. The laundry and wardrobe area will be next to the entrance, just in front of the bathroom, creating a corridor space between the two. The washing machine will be hidden within one of the closets, and the space between the two units will be used for hanging and drying clothes. The steps that you use are actually release and push drawers, keeping the space discreet and the storage unexpectedly hidden. We didn't want the TV to be on show, so we discreetly positioned it behind the lowered ceiling with a telescopic bracket through which you can pull it up and down when needed. Having different floor heights within the same floor, we were able to create some sliding under deck, modular storage and seating units. The boat will be permanently moored at the shore here in Edinburgh within the leaf area. Thank you so much for the attention and for any questions, just email me at bboyshopchannel at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video until the end. If you would have done anything differently in the project, please let me know in the comment below. Also, if you have any suggestion, do the same thing. And if you want to contact me for any project or collaboration, email me at bboyshockchannel at gmail.com. Much love to everyone and I'll see you next time.